just wanted to welcome everybody here. Uh, got a couple of tins of Tops 2020 Baseball Series 1. And um, there is, if you read the small print in the, on this, which it's very tiny. It's very, very tiny. There is a variations of all, tall, all, times of, uh, all types of relics and autos and all kinds of things like that and super rare cards. So it's cool. I've opened a few of these up and didn't record correctly. But what I do is um, I buy this binder right here. I have a binder that I have for opened up. I have a binder that I buy, bought and um, I fill them up with all rookies and inserts in here. And especially, except for car, people that I like, like my favorite players, I put them in top, face leaves and top loaders. And then I have... Um, you know a storage box to put them in then i use this to it comes with that five star um notebook and i use this to hold my penny sleeves and these are thick penny sleeves so there's, there's a difference so if you get fabric you need these these penny sleeves right here are different than these ones right here it's this card sleeves on them and um right here there's one right there in a way but it says card sleeves thick for thick jerseys so there's a difference and um i made videos before explaining i'm sorry explaining how the everything works with the different sizes of the one touches but i'll do i'm going to start doing different things on this channel with cards and explaining things a little differently and i'll have better equipment and everything coming my way so it's going to be a lot different and we're going to have a lot more fun with it and um i've noticed people have joined you know my channel and then quit over the year uh, over the year I've been here so there is a lot of favoritism in here and people uh, a lot of the people in communities like to get in these breaks and and that's cool and you enjoy them and I did them for a while and then you know I was getting doing a break with a fella and then you know just stopped communication with me which things happen so it's all cool but this is a, a pretty cool product I think I think just to get the tin alone is worth it. It's under twenty dollars. I got it at the store at Walmart, and we're gonna open this up, and we're gonna see what we're gonna get out here. Um, damn, that thing on there pretty good, buddy. Uh, yesterday I went I went fishing with my with Ashley and Melissa, and I made a video about that fishing thing, and I did catch one fish. It was a mangrove snapper, and I threw him back, and. Uh, my buddies that were French fellas, they wanted to cook them, and I was like, I'm just throwing them back. That's what I'm saying in a small print here. That's where it tells you all the stuff that's in it, and the odds are so astronomical. It's like you're hitting a lottery. Boy, this is, oh, we're going to see, you know, let me know what you think about this. This is Tops 2020 Baseball Series 1. And like I said, I opened a few of them up, and I have a lot of them. I've bought a lot of them not all at one store they don't ever buy everything off the shelf but this comes with it right so that's cool you know and it comes in one pack and it's a thick pack you know thick see what's in that you know what i mean and then that's pretty deep and you can also take these out of here because i collect hockey tins and i've got every series from 2015 to present day on uh the two the young guns so that's the that's the tin which is cool like i said tells you and these are the cards i don't really like these types of styles how they pack them they are very very difficult i mean very very careful opening them i try my best but to be honest with you my hands are a little sore from cooking i've been you know i do physical work so <clears throat> i do both physical work and i do day trade so uh but yeah, this is cool. Juan Soto on the back of it, right at the back. So that's really sweet. Since we know that's there, I'm going to take him and put him aside because this is the World Series. Um, this World Series insert card. So yeah, see how it says World Series on there? It's not numbered or anything, but I saw it on the bottom. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and put that on a penny sleeve right while we're doing this, you know what I mean? Uh, because I got 
I was all over Juan Soto before anybody even started knowing about him. I have all his rookie cars. I got platinum Bowman, platinum autos. I just thought he was a cool person, you know. And, uh, you know, I just watched him in major minors and stuff and seen videos on him. And I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. So we got one good one, you know. I think it is a good one. And um, I like the way they did the cards, the tops. These are throwbacks, kind of. They really ran out of ideas with these cards because, like, I collect the vintage also. This is a rookie card. See the little R on the bottom, RC? And it's not numbered. So it's part of the set. So I'll put that aside because I collect, as I said, I put all the rookies in them binders, you know, in, unless they're super, super, superstars. And this is a pretty cool card. I like the way they did these. And then you got, oh yeah, look at my man. We got a good one here. This is a really good one. And it is looking pretty good. Let me put it in top, uh, paint sleeve real quick, my friends. Tatis, man. Tatis. So that's a, that's a Tatis rookie card. That's the cup. See the cup there? It's considered a rookie card. But last year was his rookie season. And I have a ton of his stuff. And I have an autograph of him and everything. And nobody was knowing who he was. And I was like, holy smokes. Brandon Lowe would have won Rookie of the Year if he was that healthy. Uh, he would have had to catch up with Pete. But Brandon was all around. He was playing very good. But that's just my opinion. These are cool, like I said. I like the way they do these. Like, there's... They're just like some of the cards that they're putting out. It's just, it's, it's kind of sad. They just run out of ideas. Manny Machado. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start putting team bags together and I'm going to start giving them out to people. And um, you know, um, they're just there's no way to get rid of the greedy people in our industry. It's just not going to happen. People want breaks, they want free stuff, they don't care about nobody, you know what I mean? It's just the way people are with this stuff. There's, if it ain't this, it's toilet paper, so it's like, you know what I mean? Whatever, that's how human nature is with most people. If they see something that they want, that you have, they want to get it. And, you know, trading and stuff, you start trading with people and then they start nitpicking. Uh-oh. 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 Gary Sanchez. I saw this Gerrero here. This is the other Gerrero. This dude's a beast. This should be his rookie. I think it should say minor on the back of it, probably. Major and minor league. See on the back? You need to look for that. I knew this guy. I've been watching. I was watching him. That's why I knew that. At any other time, I wouldn't have known. It might be a variation because he has no hat on, but there's another one that's pretty cool. Let's see what rookies we get. Uh-oh. I got a nice auto of this guy in blue and platinum. He is a good player. So we're going to go ahead and um, go ahead and put penny sleeve on this one also, because he's a good player. And this probably will go on a top loader along with my man here. He is a very good player. Some of you watching in the future. In my opinion. And then, of course, <laughs> I think I got Mikey Trout on the front here. Oh, Mikey, no. No, no. I saw the stance for a second. He's a, this guy is left handed. So, Garcia. That's pretty cool. And these are minor. Like, I'll go through these later, but some of these are major and minor ones, and a lot. Um, it's pretty cool. Some of the guys I know. Oh, it's a top. But it will stand in the back. And that Tatis is badass. I have to tell you. I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm a big fan of that dude. Matter of fact, salute too, but there's my man here. Yeah, he's deserving of a top loader. Just don't want anything to happen to it. I was just watching it over there. But yeah, I'll still keep your top loaders. You want top loaders? And they'll fit in them little bags too, right there that I was showing you. Yeah, 
should have put that in the top loader earlier. Uh, it is probably, you know, they're probably, that, this is a variation, definitely. Um, the other one's probably, oh, some shinies. Let's see some shinies. Okay. Like I said, I like the, I like the cards. They're pretty cool. They got some decent stuff on here. Uh, well, who knows, man. I'm just trying to have fun with this stuff and enjoy life. But like I was saying, there's people that are, this industry, I've been like this since I've been a kid with people trying to get stuff. You know? I got a lot of stuff I've been collecting. It's just not something I just started doing. I've been doing this for a while. This looks like a variation. It looks like he's running through a fence. It's pretty cool. Looking like he's running through a fence. But on the back, on top here, see? Series one, it'll tell you the series on there too, you know? I swear, I get more of this fella than any person on the planet, which I'm a pirate fan, because he goes in my little pirate thing, but I'll uh, run into him anytime soon. I have probably a, a year's worth of autographs he could sign off of his cards. Actually, I would just probably give him uh, Austin Meadows, my man, that's him. The New York Yankees. This is a team card with Aaron Judge and a bunch of people. And I have a bunch of friends of mine that are Yankees fans. And uh, with all the shit going on around there, I would definitely got a friend of mine I'm going to send a bunch of stuff to. We've been keeping in contact and I'm not putting his name out there, but he's a good friend of mine. And oh my God, look at this. Uh, this, this right here, I can just stop. I can just stop. There's no more reason. There's no reason for me to go through any more of these cards. The 1960s Pittsburgh Pirates. I'm a huge Pirates fan. Decades best. Well, those days are long gone, my friends. Uh, until we start spending money and keeping players and get somebody that knows what the hell they're doing. Just, I'll volunteer. <laughs> Anybody can be better. What the hell they were doing? You, you trade your best players. But anyway, my man Roberto Clemente. And a bunch of other fellas. And here's our 1935. This is a gold, a uh, silver stamp one. It's 1935. And this is from the 1980s. I think 82. Or maybe 84. Uh, something like that. That style. I have the series. I have uh, Tony Gwynn's rookie card. And there's a few other people in there. And these are the turkey cards. Okay. Because we're going to go through them. Because we've already seen them. But these. Let me go ahead and put this in Paisley too. Sorry, I'm very picky about <laughs> some of my stuff. Like the so inserts, like I say, they probably will go unless they're special players, you know. Like, yeah, because my friends will like them and stuff. But anyway, the turkey guards, these are cool. There will be a chrome in there, and I am putting this set together. So, I've been buying some of them off the internet, like I got the Mike Trout specials. Corner's a little dinged on that one. <clears throat> but it is what it is. There's my man. Sweet Lander. It's very cool. I like the back of them. They're very nice. Put those on paint sleeves. And my man. Josh Bell. Number 72 on this card. And here we go. A left handed hater. Blake Snell. A nice auto of him with his rookie card. And speaking of rookie cards, we have a rookie turkey card. And it is Gavin Lux. Huh. I always put them right away. And we got our special insert cards of Mr. Hoskins. Get those. Them with that one, we have Mr. Hoskins again. Oh, Andy Batiste Chrome. Of course, these chromes go right in the top of the pieces, like they'll do them right away because chrome will get scratched very easily. Here's another chrome, and it's a Kuna. Oh, Raphael Devers, that's badass because I like that guy. that in there and I'll show you guys in a second here I'm gonna get these in the penny sleeves because I have a few rookies here 
sorry about that I just want to make sure that these don't get damaged the inserts and stuff and especially if there's autos in here these are pretty cool I'll go over these real quickly they have a different series of the cards as you can see one will be like this it doesn't matter if it's rookie or not and then the other one will be a variation or you know there'll be the top scrum and they may be variations and then they'll put these inserts in here which is not numbered but it's pretty cool Andy petite so that's how they do those and i put the sets together as i said and there's more to look through we're gonna go ahead and get through these Mitch Hank Hanger. And as I said, some of these could be variations. Dicker Terror. Reckless. Lane. Luke Boy, and that's the second year card. Oh shit, Mike Trout. That's a hit. Any Mike Trout cards you get in any pack is pretty much. Uh, and there's variations of Mike Trout also. So I've already got a few different variations of him in this, in these tins. And this is a different one that I have not gotten yet. So yeah, Mike Trout. I collect Mike Trout anyway, and I've been collecting him for a long time before he became the greatest baseball player of all time. But who is it though? I just thought he was cool. He's from Jersey and I'm from Philly originally, so that was pretty cool. So you got a Mikey Trout. Thank you, Mikey Trout. No baseball for Mike Trout. They were lucky because he was going to rip into the Astros. Believe me. What else have you got here? Nelson Cruz. I have a nice auto of him too, and he's got variation rookies where he played for Boston and then he went to the White, White Sox. So to me, Cheater, Alex Bregman let me down. This might be a variation, I'm not sure. I'll go through them later. I just wanted you guys to see them, what you're looking at when you buy. These tens, I think they're fifteen bucks. But I had a pretty good run at this. This is about I'm not mad at this at all. Future stars. You got Randa random or Lorena. And that's not a uh, number, but it is a different variation. So that'll go on there. I noticed that I mean they have the rookies on here. You have to look in the back because it'll say minor and rookies. And then they'll have cup ones. But I've noticed they, didn't have, they don't have a lot of rookie. Like there's one here. It's a pretty good card. It's a pretty good player. But. Thias. Thias. Matt Thias. The Angels would have had a good squad. I mean you know like. People are simulating. Oh this dude's badass. I like this guy the way he plays. This dude is tough pitcher. He would be tough to go up against. He's very very tough. One of my favorite players. There's a pitcher. And now that I know the stuff with the Astros did, I feel a lot better about liking Kershaw again. Like, I was kind of upset about some of the things. But then I'm like, no one can shell off Kershaw like that. But, I don't know. But, like, what I'll do, like I said, I'm going to make team bags. And I'll start giving them out to people. And then... Whatever people want to send me back, they can. Like, if they want to send me some, an insert of, you know, Roberto Clemente or some something or whatever. I am not know what to send you, what you. Whatever you want to send me. You know what I mean? Whatever I, you guys want me to put these things together, I'll be glad to send them out to you. I know that I don't have no coronavirus because we have gotten every, um, you know, every, uh, a clean cleaning supply and is completely uh you know disinfected in my house this is funny these ladies do not play and i work in the industry i'm washing my hands all day long honestly restaurant work we wash our hands continuously well over all in all 
I guess I would say I, the only reason I would probably get these tins and I bought them because the collector part, you know, like I think they're kind of cool. And you got your favorite players on there, like white trout and stuff. So the only reason I buy them is just to get the inserts. So that's about it. The cards are kind of bland and they're just like regular cards. And for the price, $15, they should put an auto or a fabric or something in there because there's like it's supposed to be for kids too. So um, I don't know. I'd give this product like a C. Maybe a C plus. I don't know. And I have pulled out some pretty cool cards in the sand. Over all in all. There's hardly any really rookies in there. And it is kind of just, you know, blah. Um, as far as like originality, there are some differentials. Maybe I'm being a hard critic. I don't know. But they just to me it's not like the inserts are cool, like I said, you got the tops, you got these chrome cards, and they're cool. They do, and it's not like, uh, I mean, I'm really, that was really cool that I got that, you know, because I'm a big Pirates fan. That's all my people I work with, I wear my Pirates at all the time at work. And this Tatis is really cool. It's just like a rookie card, it's a special insert. And the Hoskins things aren't bad either, you know what I mean? I figure right in my inserts. And uh, this is nice throwback to 84, I think, or in the early 80s. But that's a nice one, you know. And then I guess there's like, well, I found two. Well, Austin Meadows is my, like one, one of my favorite players. And then, you know, my man from Pittsburgh. So it goes together. And then, you know, like I said, on the back of these cards, you can tell that they're rookies because it says minor and ma major and minor. You know, so that's some of the stuff you got to go through. And get them and send them just putting a rookie on there just like that you know what i mean well i appreciate you guys watching and tell me what you think of the video and what i'll do is when these this binder is almost getting there but i'm filling it all up and when i finish this binder uh, my baseball inserts and rookie cards of all the stuff i opened up this year this is just from this year i will show you guys and you let me know what you think so Basically, you get the tin, which is cool. Let's go through it real quick. And it's got a little thing, little compartment to hold stuff or whatever. And there's different players. And then, you know, the cards you can put right back in there. The ones that you don't want to put in a binder and make a set of them if you wanted to. They could go in there, you know. They'll fit right back in there. So that's cool. But I'm going to go through them, so I'm not putting them in there right now. But you get the tin. And, like I said, overall and all, I'd give it like a C. A trout. Even I got some good ones, but I guess the, you do more. It just seems like they're repeating the same style over and over again every year. So, I do like the inserts. I think they're cool. But, um, you let me know what you think. And we do appreciate you watching. I want everybody to stay safe. And, um know that i care and love every one of you guys and uh if people are offended by some of my other videos i made about uh you know um what i say um i apologize but if you don't want to subscribe to my channel i understand so it's no you know i'm not saying it's no big deal but you do what you do and i always make my channels no matter what anybody watches them at all because i enjoy doing this and it's good um for me to meet friends and enjoy a hobby and share stuff together with people so it means a lot to me and i appreciate everything you got you guys do for me and watch my channels and give me feedback so um please like and subscribe our channel if you like this uh type of stuff and um let me know what you think what the tops 20 baseball series one tens you know go out there and try to find them at walmart and uh hopefully you get an autograph something really cool and let me know, and I'll come watch your channel, I'll watch you open them, and I'll be like, cool, 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 you know? So, until next time, you guys take care, and keep doing what you're doing, and enjoy your life.